subscribe to my youtube channel after so many years of requesting me to do this effect here it is I'm gonna be doing a pop out eye i did a few years ago a couple of years ago a zombie with no eye using also the same eye patch effect that i uh, technique that i'm going to be using for this look but i never did actually the eye popping out so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create this part and also how to create the eye i use the this type of rubber band type of uh, balls and i use it in red so it was much easier for me to create this rosy ready pinkish effect for the eyes so i didn't have to really cover the entire, the entire bowl with the white product so if you have an uh, option for red or pink go for it and that's it let's get started with this popping out eye effect following While this is drying, I'm gonna take in the eye and dip it in the liquid latex and start sticking kind of, of uh, portions of the cotton that goes from the bottom of the eye downwards, something like that. And then I'm gonna be coating all of that with the liquid latex. So the idea is to create kind of muscles that goes from the bottom part of the eye all the way down and they connect together underneath. Something like this. So I'm gonna blow dry it to speed up the process to dry it out and I'm gonna be coating an entire area I create with liquid latex with a cream color in red or the same colors we used to paint the eye um, and veins we created and I'm gonna let it dry. So while this is drying I'm gonna be adding some color to the iPad. I'm gonna be adding first a layer of red cream colors with a big uh, fluffy kind of a brush to create a more uneven shading and then I'm gonna be taking a brown to give a little more depth with an eyeliner brush just to give some details here and there and a final touch is gonna be adding just a tiny bit more color but it's gonna be a brownish red shade and again with the same big brush Now it's time to place the eye. I made it a little longer so I cut the ends. So how I'm gonna be gluing it is to apply a liquid latex and then on top I'm gonna be adding a little bit of cotton to make sure it holds on. I'm gonna be adding a little bit more liquid latex to make sure everything looks good and dewy and awful. <laughs> so once it's dry, you can speed up with blue dryer once again. I'm gonna be adding some coloring. Once again, I'm gonna be using the same mixture, red, brown is red and the brown and also gonna be adding the brown on the uh, areas of the muscles that create in the eye they didn't add any depthness and that's it and uh, the last touch is gonna be adding a little bit dewiness to it for that i'm gonna be using a clear vaseline on, on the entire area also all over the eye and that's it we're done I hope you enjoyed this effect. It was very scary, but very extremely easy to do. It, well, it goes really well also to do for children, so it's great. I'm gonna leave the list of products that I use on the bar below next to a ton of other Halloween makeup options for you that you may enjoy to watch. If you're new to the channel, first of all, hi, welcome. Here you have a direct link to subscribe to it. I'm gonna be uploading from Monday to Friday, the entire month of October, all options for Halloween. And for the rest of the year, Tuesday and Thursday, I upload videos for special test character, fantasy, and all of these just 
cute and nice and gross things if you like this video please give thumbs up to, the, to it i really appreciate it and yeah, the thing i don't have much to say thanks so much for spending some time with me be happy and see you next one